Hello everyone, welcome to YouTube channel of Civil Panda. So today we are going to start next FLT that is FLT number 6. In this video we will discuss the part first of the FLT and the subsequent lectures will discuss the rest of it. So let us begin with the question number 1. Here it is. Tansen festival was organized where? Tansen festival was organized in Ujjain, Gwalior, Indore, Bhopal. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is Gwalior. Tansen festival is organized in Gwalior. Also, you should know that Tansen Samman is given, which was instituted in 1980, Tansen Samman. And Tansen festival organized in Gwalior. All right, moving on to next question. Satdhara is a famous site in MP4. Satdhara is a famous site in MP4. Waterfall, temple complex, Buddhist site <coughs> and zoo. You may think that it is a waterfall, but let me tell you, Satdhara is a famous site in MP which belongs to Buddhist. Satdhara is also a famous Buddhist site in Madhya Pradesh. Alright, moving on to next question. Question number 3. Which is India's first marble structure? India's first marble structure. Taj Mahal, Humayun Storm, TV Ka Makbara or Hushang Sa Storm. The correct answer is Humayun Storm. Humayun Storm is considered to be the first marble structure of India. Alright. Question number 4. Kundeli is a dialect of which subgroup of Hindi? Kundeli is a dialect of which subgroup of Hindi? Purvi Hindi, Pashtimi Hindi, Pahadi Hindi or Rajasthani Hindi? <coughs> Kundeli, Purvi Hindi, Pashtimi Hindi, Pahadi and Rajasthani. The correct answer is Pashtimi Hindi. Kundeli is a dialect of subgroup of Western Hindi. That is Pashtimi Hindi. Alright. Question number 5. How many recognized tribes are there in MP? How many recognized tribes are in MP? 42, 43, 44, 46. The correct answer is option 46. There are total 46 recognized sites of, uh, sorry, 46 recognized tribes of MP. All right. Moving on to next question. Tohar folk song is sung on which occasion? Tohar folk song is sung on which occasion? Wedding. Death, birth of a child, festival. Well, Sohar is a folk song which is sung on the occasion of birth of a child. Birth of a child. Sohar is a folk song in MP. It is sung during the birth of a child. Moving to question number 7. Which of the following district have Saharia tribe? Which of the following district have Saharia tribe? Saharia. Mandala, Jhabua, Sivni, Teopur. What is the correct answer? The correct answer is option D, Shyopur. Saharia tribe is of the following district that is Shyopur. Among all the following districts, it is in Shyopur we have which have Saharia tribe. All right. Question number eight. Which of the following city is the located nearest <coughs> nearest to Tropic of Cancer? Which of the following city is located nearest to Tropic of Cancer? Riva, Vidisha, Sagar, Sajapur. What is the correct answer? The city which is located nearest to Tropic of Cancer. The answer is Sagar. Yes. Sagar is the nearest to Tropic of Cancer. Sagar is located somewhere between 2310 and 2340. Alright. And Sagar is the city which is nearest to Tropic of Cancer. Moving on to question number 9. Which of the following is incorrect about Madhya Pradesh? Incorrect about Madhya Pradesh. MP is a landlocked state. It is the largest state of the country. Narmada river is called lifeline of MP. It is true. Malwa is a lava plateau. It is also true. Well, it is not the largest state of the country. And what is the largest state of the country in terms of area? That is Rajasthan. All right, not MP. Moving on to question number 10. Park series is associated with, Park series of rocks is associated with Cretaceous period, proto archean era, Harvard group, or Purana group? The correct answer is Cretaceous period. Bark series of group, bark series of rocks are associated with Cretaceous period, not with Harvard or Purana. Moving on to question number 11. Which district of MP has highest forest cover? Highest forest cover. Kyopur, Chindwara, Palaghat, Betul. Which district of MP has the highest forest cover? The answer is Palaghat. 
बालाघाट हैज हाइएस्ट फॉरेस्ट कवर तो बालाघाट फॉलोड बाय उमरिया फॉलोड बाय उमरिया एंड मंडला ऑल राइट बालाघाट उमरिया मंडला दैट इज हाइएस्ट फॉरेस्ट कवर मूविंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर वॉट इज मवाठा वॉट इज मवाठा और ऑल्सो नोन एज मावट मावट टाइप ऑफ ग्रास टाइप ऑफ क्लाइमेट टाइप ऑफ रेन टाइप ऑफ क्रॉप लेट मी टेल यू समथिंग देर आर सम रीजनल नेम्स विच आर एसोसिएटेड विथ वॉट डिफरेंट सीजन इन एम पी फॉर एग्जाम्पल समर सीजन इन एम पी इज ऑल्सो नोन एज उनाला एंड रेनी सीजन नोन एज चौमासा विंटर सीजन नोन एज सियाला एंड ड्यूरिंग द विंटर सीजन the rainfall due to western disturbances which am receives in north western part is known as mawat so mawat is a type of rain mawat is a type of rain all right moving on to next question question number 13 madhya pradesh ranks in which position in terms of wheat production in the country madhya pradesh ranks in which position in terms of wheat production it is first second third or fourth the correct answer is second mp ranks second All right. Moving on to next question. Question number fourteen. Who is the author of "Bhuni Hui Rassi"? Bhuni Hui Rassi. Who is the author of "Bhuni Hui Rassi"? Sarath Joshi, Bhavani Prasad Mishra, Bhupendra Singh, Rajendra Shukla. The correct answer to the question is Bhavani Prasad. Bhavani Prasad Mishra, born in Kangabad. Kangabad. He wrote "Bhuni Hui Rassi." All right. Moving on to next question. Kundalia major multi-purpose project lies on. Kundalia major multi-purpose project lies on. Tambal, Betwa, Kalisind, or Dhasan. Kundalia multi-purpose project lies in Kalisind River. Kalisind River is tributary of Panas. It is left bank or right bank. Kalisind is a right bank tributary of Chambal River. Right bank tributary of Chambal River. Moving on to question number sixteen. When was separate horticulture and food processing department was created in Madhya Pradesh? When was hot separate horticulture and food processing department was created created in MP? Nineteen seventy two, nineteen eighty two, thousand three, and two thousand five. The correct answer is nineteen eighty. A separate department for horticulture and food processing. Was created in 1982. All right. Moving on to question number 17. Which crop has highest per hectare yield in MP? Highest per hectare yield in MP. It is is it paddy, rice, or wheat, flour, or gram? What is the correct answer? Let me tell you here. You might think, but the correct answer here is rice. As far as Madhya Pradesh is concerned, rice has the highest per Hectare yield in MP. All right, paddy rice. So we want to question number eighteen. All right, Indus Mega Food Park is located. Indus Mega Food Park is located in which place? Argon, Devas, <coughs> Borgao, Malanpur. Indus Mega Food Park is located where? Argon, Devas, Borgao, Malanpur. Well, the answer is Argon. Indus Mega Food Park is located in. All right. Move on to question number nineteen. Jal Bihari Mela, <coughs> that is Jal Bihari Fair, is organized in which district? Andhra, Chhatrapur, Sidhi, Shivani. Jal Bihari Mela is organized in Chhatrapur. Jal Bihari Mela is organized in Chhatrapur. Chhatrapur is your right answer. Next question. Question number twenty. Where is Puni Bhandara Museum? Where is Puni Bhandara Museum situated? Bhopal, Orcha, Riva, Burhanpur. There is Puni Bhandara Museum. The correct answer to this question is option yes, option D, Burhanpur. Puni Bhandara Museum is located in Burhanpur. All right. Moving on to next question. Question number twenty-one. On twenty-first June, on twenty-first June, the sun does not set below the horizon at the Arctic. Does not set below the horizon at Antarctic. Shines vertically overhead at noon on the equator. Shines vertically overhead at the Tropic of Capricorn. Now let me tell you something. On twenty-first June, the sun 
science vertically overhead on tropic of cancer since it shines vertically overhead at tropic of cancer the arctic circle is tilted entirely towards the sun hence it does not set below the horizon at arctic and people say 24 hours what sun at arctic circle hence on 21st of june sun does not set below the horizon in arctic circle all right moving on to next question question number 22nd Consider the following states: Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha. With reference to state mentioned above, in terms of percentage of forest cover to the total area of the state, which of the following is the correct ascending order? छोटे से बड़ा. All right. Now, as you all know, as per Census 2011 or different forest report, Mizoram is the country. Sorry, Mizoram is the state. Mizoram has the highest forest cover in terms of percentage of total area of the state. But among the following, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Odisha, what is the correct ascending order? Option A: two, three, one, four; two, three, four, one; three, two, four, one; or three, one, four. Now let me tell you something. Among all the given options, Madhya Pradesh, sorry, Maharashtra. Then what we have? Madhya Pradesh. Then we have Odisha. And then we have Chhattisgarh. All right, Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Odisha, Chhattisgarh. That among the options, Chhattisgarh has the highest percentage under uh, forest. So the correct answer will be option C. C two four one. Am I right? Are you getting my point? All right. Moving on to question number twenty two. Hmm. Twenty three. Sorry. Now, silva forest. Silva forests are found at which natural region? Silva forests are found. Natural region, tropical region, tundra region, Mediterranean region, or eastern margins. Let's not confuse you. All right. Silva forest is also the silva forest is a name also refers to tropical forests which are present in a tropical regions. All right. The correct answer will be tropical region. Silva forests are present in what tropical region? Silva. All right. Moving on to question number twenty-four. National parks in India belong to Which which of the following category? National parks in India belong to which of the following category? IUCN category one, category two, category three, or category four? Well, here the correct answer is IUCN category. IUCN that is International Union for Conservation of Nature has certified all the national parks in India under its category second. All right, remember it. Moving on to question number twenty-five. Which state has highest production of zinc? Which state has highest production of zinc? Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Arkhand, or Maharashtra? The correct answer is Rajasthan. Rajasthan. Rajasthan is the state in uh, in uh, India which produces highest uh, uh, amount of zinc. All right, highest production of zinc is in Rajasthan. Moving on to next question. Question number twenty-six. What is the unit of population density measurement? What is the unit of population density measurement? How it is measured? Family per meter, family per kilometer, person per square kilometer, or person per hectare? Now, if you studied the population density, it is measured in person per square kilometer. All right, number of person per square kilometer. It is the unit of population density. Which of the following statement is true? Which of the following statement is true? According to Census 2011, India's population density 328 people per square kilometer. UP's population density is 892 people per square meter. Per square meter, uh, sorry, square kilometer. West Bengal has the highest population density. None of the above. Let me tell you something. According to Census 2011, India's population density is not 328, but it is 382. Person per square kilometer. UP's population density, on the other hand, is not 892. It is 829 person per square kilometer. West Bengal has the highest population density. No, West Bengal. No, highest population density is Bihar. All right, Bihar has the highest. So our answer is option D. None of the above statements are correct. All of them are wrong. 
पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी ऑफ इंडिया 382 पर स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ऑफ यूपी 329 एंड बिहार हैज द हाईएस्ट पॉपुलेशन डेंसिटी फिर इंदिरा गांधी राष्ट्रीय फिर इंदिरा गांधी राष्ट्रीय उड़ान एकेडमी इज लोकेटेड इंदिरा गांधी राष्ट्रीय उड़ान उड़ान एकेडमी और राइट हैदराबाद जयपुर ग्वालियर और रायबरेली फिर इड इंदिरा गांधी राष्ट्रीय उड़ान एकेडमी इज लोकेटेड इट इज लोकेटेड इन रायबरेली All right, it is located in Rai Bareilly. Moving on to question number twenty-nine. What is normally found in the western side of the continent, situated near tropics? Uh, these are the continent, and normally in, on the western side of the continent, what is to be found naturally, if specifically it is located in the tropics, mountains, deserts, rivers, or lakes? What is the answer? The correct answer is desert. Desert. Normally, on the western margins of the continents, which are located in the tropics, deserts are most commonly found, such as Namibian desert, Atacama desert. All right. Moving on to question number thirty. Which of the following country, which of the following country has highest number of coal reserves in the world? I am talking about coal reserve, not in coal production. All right. Highest number of coal reserve. India, USA. China or Russia. The correct answer is USA. USA has the highest number of highest coal reserve in the world. Well, highest coal production may be in China, but highest maximum coal reserve is in coal reserves are in United States of America. Moving on to question number thirty-one. Who is the present Chief Justice of Madhya Pradesh High Court? Who is the present Chief Justice of Madhya Pradesh High Court? Sanjay Kumar Seth, Ajay Kumar Mittal. Muhammad Rafiq, Justice Malimath. Yes, the correct answer is option D. Justice Malimath is the current Chief Justice of Madhya Pradesh High Court. Moving on to question number thirty-two. Sri Mati Anandi Ben Patel has an additional charge of Governor of which state? Well, this question is your steel question, well, right? It is from your current affairs part, uh, where uh, the Sri Mati Anandi Ben Patel at that time. Was given the additional charge of Madhya Pradesh. Was the additional governor of Madhya Pradesh while being the governor of Uttar Pradesh. She she has been hand over the additional charge. All right. Now moving on to next question. That is question number thirty-three. <clears throat> Present Vidhan Sabha of MP is of which number? That means what is the current statistical position of Madhya Pradesh Vidhan Sabha? Is it twelfth? Is it thirteenth Vidhan Sabha? Is it fourteenth Legislative Assembly? Or is it fifteenth? The answer is fifteenth. Current Legislative Assembly of Madhya Pradesh is fifteenth Legislative Assembly. Question number thirty-four. Gaon ki beti scheme. Gaon ki beti scheme is related which sector? Health, employment, training, education. What is the correct answer? Well, Gaon ki beti scheme specifically deals. With promoting girls' education in terms of their higher education, so it is in the field of education. All right, now keep it in sec its sector, education sector. <coughs> Sorry, moving on to question number thirty-five. How many cantonment boards are there in Madhya Pradesh? How many cantonment boards are there in Madhya Pradesh? Eleven, seven, five, nine. Well, if we talk about India. All over India, there are 64 cantonment boards. While in MP, there are five. There are five cantonment. What are cantonment boards? These are basically civil administration bodies which functions directly under the Ministry of Defence. All right. So MP has five cantonment boards. What is the child sex ratio of Madhya Pradesh? What is the child sex ratio of Madhya? Pradesh? Nine nineteen, nine eighteen, nine twenty eight, nine thirty one. Well, let me tell you something. The highest child sex ratio in MP is with Alirajpur. The lowest child sex ratio, Purana. While the overall child sex ratio of MP stood at nine hundred and eighteen. Nine hundred and eighteen. All right. <clears throat> Moving on to next question. Question number thirty seven. What is the current GDP rank of MP among the states? What is the current GDP rank of MP among the states? This is your homework. This is your 
homework how why because as per the latest data you need to find out what is the current gdp rank of mp along with the madhya pradesh budget when you will study when you will find our uh, video playlist in our youtube channel you will find the uh, specific videos on madhya pradesh budget all right so watch it and you will have the answer all right moving on to next question question number 38 at which of the following places ordinance factory is not located which of the following places ordinance factory is not located? Jabalpur, Itarsi, Gwalior, Katni. Jabalpur, Itarsi, Gwalior, Katni. Ordinance factory Jabalpur mein hai? Bilkul hai. Itarsi mein hai? Bilkul hai. Katni mein hai? 100%. Not in Gwalior. Ordinance factory Gwalior mein nahi hai. Alright. Question number 39. This question, MP's annual budget special this year, not this year. Is that this question is asked about previous year, all right? Their budget was based whether it was a child budget, all right? Previous year budget, which was specific for the child budget, known for the child budget. Moving on to question number 40. Hum chhu lenge asman is a scheme of MP government is targeted towards whom? Hum chhu lenge asman, the scheme of Madhya Pradesh government is targeted for minorities, women, students. Now, if you apply as normal logic, then only you can solve the answer. It is for the students. Hum chhu lenge asman. It is for the students. All right. Questions are very good. Uh, keep revisiting the video after seeing one time and you will have all your answers during prelim. All right. Question number 41. Which of the following is not correct about Montagu claims for reform? It is Government of India Act 1919. Which of the following is not correct? The governor was executive head of the province. The subjects were divided into list, reserved list and transferred list. There was no provision for communal and class electorate. There were two lists for administration, central and provincial. Well, governor was executive head of the province, 100%. There were two lists for administration also, central and provincial, 100%. Tayarki at provinces where uh, the subjects were divided into reserved list and transferred, 100%. But there was communal electorate. All right. There was provision of communal electorate and class electorate. Hence, this is not right. All right. Hence, our answer is option C. Option C is not right. All right. Question number 42. Which of the following is not the provision of Government of India Act 1935? This act ended the system of diarchy in the provinces. <coughs> the structure for Federation of India was established for both. British India and some or all of the princely states. Burma became part of India. The continuation of direct elections and thus increasing the franchise from 7 million to 35 million people. 100 percent this is correct. The Federation of India was to establish is also correct. This act ended diarchy at the provinces. 100 percent it is correct. This act ended diarchy. But Burma became part of India? No. Burma was served off of India. Burma did not become the part of India. In fact, Burma was severed off from entity. So, option C is not right. All right. Moving on to question number 43. Who among the following was chairman of Constituent Assembly's Committee on Rules of Procedure? Who among the following was a chairman of Constituent Assembly's Committee on Rules of Procedure? Rajendra Prashad, Aladi Krishna Maswami Ayer. P. Pattabhi Sitaramaya, K. M. Munsi. Who was the chairman of Constituent Assembly's Committee on Rules and Procedure? The correct answer is Dr. Rajendra. He was also chairman of the Finance Committee. He was also chairman of the Steering Committee of the Parliament. He was also the chairman of Constituent Assembly Committee on Rules of Procedure. All right. Moving on to question number 44. Which article of Indian Constitution says that there shall be a President of India? That there shall be a president of India. There shall be a president of India. Which article of the Indian Constitution states it? 61, 62, 52, or 74? The correct answer is Article 52. Option C. Article 52 states that there shall be president of India as a head of the executive. Moving on to question number 45. Which of the following statement is wrong? Elected and nominated members of the state legislative assembly participate in the presidential election. 
यूनियन एग्जीक्यूटिव इंक्लूड्स प्रेसिडेंट वाइस प्रेसिडेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर अटॉर्नी जनरल ऑफ इंडिया इंपीचमेंट मे बी इनिशिएटेड अगेंस्ट प्रेसिडेंट फॉर ब्रीच ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन आर्टिकल फिफ्टी सिक्स इनविसाज इज द टेन्यूर ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट वेल आर्टिकल फिफ्टी सिक्स टेन्यूर ऑफ द प्रेसिडेंट इट इज करेक्ट यस आर्टिकल फिफ्टी सिक्स डील्स विथ टेन्यूर इन एग्जीक्यूटिव में कौन कौन आते हैं प्रेसिडेंट वाइस प्रेसिडेंट प्राइम मिनिस्टर अटॉर्नी जनरल ऑफ इंडिया ऑल्सो ट्रू इंपीचमेंट मे बी इनिशिएटेड अगेंस्ट द प्रेसिडेंट फॉर ब्रीच ऑफ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट इज ऑल्सो ट्रू वेल elected and nominated well nominated member do not take part in the provincial uh, presidential election hence it is wrong answer all right moving on to question number 46 which of the following article contains right to religious freedom right to religious freedom 25 28 29 30 32 35 23 24 Which article contains religious freedom? Yes, your answer is Article twenty-five to twenty-eight. Article twenty-five to twenty-eight contains religious freedom. All right. Moving on to next question. In which constitutional amendment act, Goa, Goa was made a full-fledged state with the, with a state assembly? Which of the on which of the following amendment constitutional amendment act? Goa was made a full-fledged state with a constituent assembly. Oh, sorry, with a state assembly. Forty-third Constitution Amendment Act, forty-fourth, fifty-sixth, or fifty-seventh. What is the correct answer? The correct answer to the question is fifty-sixth Constitution. Which fifty-sixth Constitution Amendment Act in nineteen eighty-seven Goa was conferred with a statehood with a state assembly? All right. Question number forty-eight. Which statement regarding the tenure of judges of the Supreme Court is not correct? Not correct. Judge of a Supreme Court can remain in office till the age of sixty-five years. Judge of a Supreme Court gives his resignation letter to Chief Justice of India. On the recommendation of Parliament, he can be removed by President. Supreme Court judge can be removed only in the condition of misconduct. This is correct. it can be removed only in the condition of misconduct on the recommendation of parliament can be removed by the president 100% it is right it can be removed judge of a supreme court can remain in office till the age of 65 year it is also correct judge of a supreme court gives his resignation letter to not chief justice of india it gives his resignation president of one point that you Mind that our resignation letter, our resignation letter is always given to the appointing authority. They are appointed by President of India. Hence, resignation is President of India, not Chief Justice. All right. Moving on to next question. Forty-nine. Which activity is termed as activity of tertiary sector? Which activity is termed as activity of tertiary sector? Meat production, mobile production, health service, fish. Now. Meat production, agriculture, primary sector, fishing, primary sector, mobile production, manufacturing, secondary sector. What remains? Health service. Health services. Uh, health services will come into your tertiary sector. All right. Moving on to last question of our uh, this part one video. Who issues one rupee notes in India? Who issues one rupee notes in India? RBI, Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Corporate Affairs, Nabard. Well, it is issued by. Ministry of Finance. All right. Apart from one rupee note, all other currency notes are issued by Reserve Bank of India. But one rupee note is issued by the Ministry of Finance. And as all other notes contain the signature of RBI Governor, one rupee note contains the signature of what? Secretary of Ministry of Finance. All right. Here we are done away with the first part of the video. Keep watching. Keep learning. All the best.